Three, two, one. How many layers of aluminum foil would it take to stop an arrow? I realize this is kind of a stupid question, but hear me out. I've had a little bit of an obsession with aluminum ever since I tried pop tab chainmail, and I've wanted to make some more armor out of it. I had this idea to make a shield out of aluminum foil, but I realized pretty quickly that I don't actually know anything about its properties. Like, sure, it's strong enough to hold my foil pack together when I put it in the campfire, but that's like not a real metric. So I figured I'd take it upon myself to figure it out. First off, I was gonna need a bow, so I tried going going to like Cabela's up in Columbus and I very quickly realized that everything there is stupid expensive. So that was a bust. I ended up ordering a bow off of Amazon and also this kind of smaller crossbow because I thought maybe it would be more consistent. It was also a lot cheaper. The other part of this though is that obviously I need a rig and I've got a couple ways that I'm thinking about constructing this. Aluminum foil obviously comes in a roll but of course the easiest way to tear it is into large rectangles. The best way I'm thinking is that essentially we have some kind of a rectangular frame. Take these two frame pieces and then try to sandwich the aluminum foil between two pieces of a frame to clamp the aluminum foil in there so that it doesn't move around. I have to actually attach these into some sort of a frame shape. Maybe what I'll do is cut like a little notch out of here. That looks pretty darn good. Yeah, there you go. I think we've got our frame. Let me show you how it works. Say we want to test out one piece of foil. Get it lined up. Take our other half of our frame, put it on top of here. And then we're gonna use clamps to basically sandwich the sides of the frame together. So now our piece of aluminum foil is actually taut, which is what we want. I don't actually have a way to like mount this yet, so I need to make some feet for this thing. Here's what we're gonna do. This square thing on top is the actual tinfoil target itself. These rigid pieces are gonna kind of help direct the force from that so that it doesn't break off at the bottom here. With the rig complete, it's time to start our testing. I folded a bunch of multi-layered foil sheets in advance to make testing easier, and then I headed over to the range. We are now at this random underpass. I'm here with Davis. Say hello, Davis. Hello. Davis and I are going to be shooting at this target. So let's start with like two. Here, take a clamp. Clamp this one up, and then if you clamp that one down there. So that seems pretty good. You're gonna do bow, I'm gonna do crossbow. Yeah, you go ahead and go first. Yeah, that went clean through. This is basically a ramp to shoot this into civilization. I feel like we're gonna not gonna hit civilization. Are you concerned about it? A little bit. I think we should borrow that strap. Let's. Right yeah, it. put it right behind it. Yeah. That's probably a smart. Sweet. Yeah, that should. That should at least deflect our problem. As William Osmond says, safety third. But I think he's usually referring to his own safety, not the safety of others so much. Three, two, one. Let's do, yeah, let's jump to 10. 10 sheets. Three, two, one. Did it go all the way through? No amount of aluminum foil is gonna stop this unstoppable arrow. Still good. If what you're trying to hunt is standing five feet in front of you, you're eating tonight. I, I think we are gonna get different results eventually. Crossbow in 10 sheets. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna jump to like 25. My prediction, 80 sheets for the bolt. But these full steel plates. For that one? They will maybe stop this arrow. Here's 24 layers. Go for it. Do you think that slowed it down at all? It's, uh, it's starting to make a difference. We lost a bolt. Well, I mean, it definitely made it through this thing. I mean, it's starting to make a difference. What if we do 40? Go for it. It's definitely, it definitely has power up. Oh, that definitely slowed it down. Look, yeah, see, because you can see it's only in just the slightest bit. So it's definitely slowing it down with 40 sheets. This is 40 plus 24, so that's gonna be 64 sheets. I don't think we necessarily even have to try the full-size bow. Crossbow versus 64 sheets, three, Two, one. Oh, hey, wait a minute. It went through, but not the back half of the arrow. 
it's the, the tip is somewhere. I think the tip is embedded in that in, at some spot. 64 is not enough. So let's do, yeah, let's do like 90. Three, two, one. Wow, that did nothing. Maybe I should be wearing safety glasses. Did that go through? Oh man, it almost stopped it. Look, it did lose the tip because the tip is crappy, but that's 90, I think it's technically 94 sheets. We're getting really close to the right amount. I think we gotta like bump it up another 30 though. It did nothing to the big bow. I think we're gonna chill on the big bow for a minute here. This is turning out to be like significantly more impressive and interesting than I thought it would be. Be like 50. Like, yeah, 50, like under 100. I feel like aluminum foil is pretty strong, but like I, it's not. So this is 124 sheets. Blam. Oh, that was it. It's not like stopped in the front. It's stopped for sure. But do you think that that qualifies? We'll call it 124 for now. We'll see if like with all of them stacked together, if we can get it to bounce off the front and then we can start subtracting. Okay, so at this point, I was starting to get a little confused about what was going on. Why was over half an inch of aluminum still barely stopping these arrows? I promise I'll get right back to the maximum number of layers that can puncture, but I think I figured out what's going on here and the effect is actually really cool. After I did the first day of testing, I went back again with a small sheet of 0.025 inch thick aluminum. That's about 25 times as thick as a single layer of aluminum foil, but about one fifth as thick as the first stack of foil that actually stopped an arrow. I rigged up my sheet, stood five feet back, and then fired a bolt. As I expected, instant success, and for good measure, I did it again with the foil folded over itself once. The surprising thing here is that we were able to achieve similar results to the foil despite having less than half the thickness. So, what gives? I think what's going on here is an effect similar to the old ripping a phone book in half trick. See, if you just pick up a phone book and try to rip all the pages at once, you probably can't. The amount of force required to rip all of those at the same time is just too great for the average person to do. Instead, performing the trick requires a sneaky shuffle of the pages that basically makes it so that there's a tiny little air gap in between each sheet. That way, when you go to rip the book, you're effectively ripping only one sheet at a time, and it's a lot easier to keep ripping a page than it is to get them started. Similarly, in our foil test, the amount of force required to puncture a layer of foil is always gonna be the same. And once you punctured it, it's pretty easy to keep ripping the foil all the way through. With our slightly thicker sheets of 0.025 inch aluminum, the force required to puncture them is greater. And of course, since aluminum is soft and malleable, it's able to absorb more of that energy before fully puncturing. I think what we're seeing here is that the amount of force required to puncture a sheet of aluminum doesn't increase at the same rate relative to its thickness. So puncturing a sheet of aluminum 25 times as thick as our foil doesn't require 25 times the force. Instead, it requires something closer to 125 times the force. That's really cool, because it means we can actually block arrows more effectively with a thin sheet of aluminum than we can with a thick stack of aluminum foil. Okay, with that in mind, let's get back to our testing and see just how many layers we can actually puncture. We'll go to the bigger bow. All right, 124 layers, full-size bow. What happened? Uh, Wait, did the string break? What is this? Yeah, that's probably not smart to fire. Let's just keep going with the crossbow. All right, this is 180. But it didn't, it didn't poke all the way through, did it? It did. Oh, that's like, all of it. that's gotta do it. Crap ton of sheets at five feet. Three, two, one. It didn't come out the back. I think we can probably determine the amount of sheets by just taking it apart and figuring out how far it went in. Actual thickness of how far it like went in. This is how many layers it like poked through. So many more layers than I expected. Like I was expecting like 100, maybe 150 max. That is, that is so cool. It was, it was never gonna stop that bow, was it? There was no way. All right, so uh, you can stop a crossbow with about 240 layers of aluminum foil. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this one, make sure you slap the like button. If you're not already in the Discord, the Discord is where we talk about projects and figure out what I'm doing next. So if you want to be part of the community, go ahead and join over there. And uh, yeah, links are down below to support these videos. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.